do you only have one horse or are ever going to have one horse and haul one horse? Then Equispirit has a trailer for you. So if you've been looking at one horse trailers, you know that they're pretty pretty terrible designs out there and you're not happy with them and I know your horse isn't going to be happy with them. So what you have to do is you're looking at two horse trailers now and then you need a tack room. You put a tack room on the front. Now you've got a, a trailer that's 17 and a half feet long. Now it's heavier. Now you need a different tow vehicle. Now somebody might want to ride with you. You know, it's just a problem. Well, we've got the trailer right here for you. It's the Equispirit Soulmate, and we've developed it um, recently. We've done a lot of uh, research and development on it, and you are going to love this trailer. All right, you are going to be excited about this trailer. So we're going to do a quick walk around before we show you the design. So follow me. This is a very nice feature. It's actually on all of our trailers. And this is an adjustable coupler. You won't see that on maybe any other trailers at this point. It adjusts up and down to your truck rather than your truck having to adjust to this. You can also exchange this for a different type of coupler if you like the Bulldog coupler or something. Or if this gets damaged, you can take this off and replace it without having to unweld everything. Uh, notice that we've always got... Um, weight distribution brackets. We encourage everybody to use weight distribution systems, but so we put the brackets on so we paint them up, make them look nice instead of somebody cutting a hole in there and installing them later. If you can walk around with me. Windows in the front that open with screens. Come around here. Want to show you safety latch on the trailer. Just very quickly you know, this is all that holds the door shut. If you don't have some kind of safety latch on there, it could jog open. You know what happens when a door jogs open? A horse tries to get out. Uh, that's why we put safety latches on the doors. And they're nice and long, so you can't kick the bottom of the door out either. If you follow me, you can look at the lights. We add extra lights on the roof. And we also put chrome light guards on them so that it uh, uh, protects them and it looks good. Of course, the roof is white, so don't think it's black because we have a black strip across there. If you follow me around, we have also on the, uh, oh, <laughs> come back here, I forgot this. Uh, we have, this is a turn signal brake light. We make it nice and big so you can see it from your truck. People can see it from the side, plus a running light right here. Horse ties, one for the hay bag, one for the horse. The rubber torsion axles have self-adjusting brakes, so you don't have to worry about taking it into a service place. They have your brakes adjusted every once in a while because they automatically adjust themselves. If you come around the back, and this is a unique part of the trailer, I'll show you as we get into it, but it's got a four-foot entrance for the horse. It's got a ramp over and a door. This not only protects your horse from rear-end collision rather than just having a ramp and door, but it also protects... Um, uh, who's ever working around the trailer when you raise and lower the ramp, there's no way a horse is going to kick you. Uh, it has a tie here that holds it up, and what that does is it really holds it tight. And if you worry about that, which you don't have to, we have a safety latch on it anyway. That's right here. So if that ever snapped off, this would not let it come down. Then uh, this here... I'll show you this as we do the walk around, but this is your rear tack. So now you've got a tack compartment in your one horse trailer. Why have an empty stall when you can utilize it? This has two saddle racks. It actually, it, one is an option, so it comes with one. And if you can see the bridle hooks in here, you can see the carpet underneath it so that the bridle hooks don't rattle on the wall. And it protects the uh, trailer as well. We have door tie backs. For the uh, door, all the doors, come back around. These are switches, see all four? One works lights in every compartment. One works them in the horse area, one works it here, and one works it in the, uh, in the dressing room, which I'll show you in a minute. It comes with a spare tire and cover. We don't have the cover on at the moment. This is the dressing room table, or <laughs> dressing room door. I don't have the trailer open at the moment. So we'll come back around. And that does a walk around of our trailer. Okay, this is a fun part, and this is, I hope you get as excited as we are about this trailer. As you know, if you know about Equispirit, we're always a horse trailer first. And what that means is we always want to make sure that your horse is comfortable, you've got plenty of air, plenty of room, and ride safely so you can go out and have fun rather than white knuckle drive. So let me show you this. We've got a nice big 30-inch door. 
We have tie back, opens it up so it's not going to swing around. Uh, you can see that we've got a nice big feed bag in front of the horse, and we've got this extra room in front where the wedge nose comes up, so you've really got about the almost three and a half to four foot of room where he can stretch his neck and he can eat comfortably, cough any hair or dust that gets in his respiratory system, that kind of thing, which is very important to keep a horse happy and well when you're traveling. This has optional fan in it if you want to take a look at that. That window on the wall is there to give them more light, which goes into the dressing room, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got a window in front of them, a window in the door, and we window it out down the sides, shoulder window and a rear window, all opening with screens and bars to protect the horse and give them plenty of light and plenty of air. Now, if you'll come back here, I showed you this once before. This holds this tight so it doesn't rattle. These are easy to replace. You can actually buy an extra one for 3 bucks if you want to carry one around. We have a safety chain, I mentioned, on this side. So if that ever comes loose, this chain will keep it from coming down. Nice lightweight ramp. Very easy. Notice how low angle it is. And notice that this is 4 foot wide. This is actually wider than if you had a 2 horse side by side where they only have 3 foot of entrance on each side. This has a nice big entrance to make sure that he's comfortable coming into the trailer. And of course the ramp prevents them when they back out from ever sliding under the rear of the trailer. Nice big latch holds this door shut. We bring it over here and again we have another tie back. You don't have to look at this but I'm going to disappear behind here to attach that and next we'll show you how nice and airy and big the stall is and you can take a good look at that while we're back here okay now let's show you the uh, actually interior of the stall I just want to remind you of the ramp low angle like on all of our trailers a steep ramp is going to cause horses to slip. A low angle ramp will solve that problem. Also uh, makes it easier for them. They're just sort of like stepping into the over into the trailer rather than climbing up into it. Um, our safety quick release butt bars it just latch up there. It holds up there when you put this in like on all of our trailers. Horse comes back. They can't get in even though that you I mean they can't come out even though you don't have a latch yet latch falls down very easily so it's very quick and easy to do we'll put that back up come on up here all padded all rubber lined you can now see how much windows we have big double dome light right here to light everything up you probably can't see this but I'll tell you what's here there's a pad right there in case they rear up in the back maybe you can't see it well you're good good all right we'll come over here and uh, we have the quick release uh, butt uh, breast bar as well. Um, and what I mean by that, if I can still get up on this, uh, if a horse gets over this, uh, this pin, there's real, really no uh, weight on this pin. So I just pulled it and I basically released it because if I move forward, the bar falls right out from under the horse. Very important. And now you can see all the headroom up here. And this one has the optional door which goes into the dressing room. You don't have to show the dressing room. We'll come around to it. But if you'd like to have that entrance to the dressing room, it's right there. All right, I showed you before the tack compartment. And uh, we have optional rubber on the floor here. Uh, we normally put vinyl just to make it easier to clean. You can put hay, grain in here. You can adjust the saddle racks, have one or two. Showed you that. Uh, this has an optional tray, tray on and it, now but the it dressing does room. And remember, this is unique over even a two-horse trailer. It has one tack room. You've got sort of a personal space. This opens up, by the way, and holds in there, which I'm going to do so it doesn't swing in my face. But here now you've got sort of a personal space if you want to sleep in here. It normally comes carpet on this floor. This customer wanted the rubber lining because they thought it would be easier to clean and take in and out. But you could sleep in here, sit in here, put some extra, maybe some of your special stuff in. Completely lockable. I'm going to climb up in. Completely lockable, so if you're at a barn, you're boarding, you don't want to keep your stuff in the normal tack room, you can put it all in here, lock it up, nobody's going to get to it. Uh, if you look back here, this has the optional um, carpet on the bulkhead wall, which kind of makes it quiet. And of course, this is all insulated, dual insulated wall. I didn't mention that, but you might want to check our construction to see what that's all about. But there's an inch of insulation throughout this whole trailer. <coughs> and this one has optional... Uh, blanket bars 
This is standard, though. You won't see this probably on any other trailer that I'm aware of, but it's actually a helmet rack, and helmets fit on there tight and uh, won't fall off. Uh, one comes standard. Of course, you have one horse, but if you want more, you can order those as an option as well. Before we leave the dressing room, uh, I want you to notice the window is standard in this wall. The door is an option, but I wanted to show you the door, how it opens up into this area if you wanted to be able to walk out either side when you go in the horse area. And notice this. It's very important. The, uh, the dressing room space is raised four inches over the horse floor, so urine and manure can't really come into this area. So it, it really makes a nice private space for you for whatever you really need. Well, that's our story on the Equispirit Soulmate, and I hope, again, you're as excited as we are about it. And it does come in a living quarters model in the bumper pool, and because we have the use of the side space, we keep it pretty short and still have great space for the horse, as you saw. And also, uh, the uh, gooseneck comes in the gooseneck model, and which is one of my favorite because it's such a short trailer, 24-foot total length, and you can have a full living quarters in it. And we also come in partial living quarters, things like that. So if you'd like more information, visit our website at equispirit.com or visit our uh, individual website, which is youronehorse.com. Thanks for joining us.